Careful, it's very deep. This is probably the sketchiest descent of the trip. It's day six cycling the West Malaysian Peninsula and today we're riding into Kuala Lumpur. Big day on paper, 140k or so, one massive climb which looks very scary on the elevation profile. We all have very tired legs after the last few days of riding, including the Cameron Highlands, which were absolutely huge. We're looking forward to a couple of rest days and the opportunity to explore Kuala Lumpur as a city. Early start, no breakfast. Let's do it. We've averaged the same as yesterday's ride where we descended a giant mountain for the first two hours. Yep. It's because Lawrence has been on the front. Lawrence has been on the front. Oh, bulldozer. Bulldozer. <laughs> and that wasn't a bulldozer. Was it? Digger. I've preempted getting hot now in the next hour or so. So I pre-watered myself. No, that's good idea. Yeah. Shorts works well. Got a bit on your shorts. Your legs are quite big. So a lot of heat gets and they get the wind and everything. It's good. We're about two hours in. We've made extremely good progress. Tailwind, Lawrence on the front. Today's a good day. Looking forward to Kuala Lumpur. Nice to meet you. gas station is the best place to stop because it's always got a toilet. It's got the same selection as most of the shops, basically a 7-Eleven. Not quite as good as the picture on the packet. <laughs> you okay, Lawrence? I'm a bit warm. I just did a, I just, I just uh, stopped for about three minutes and then tried to catch you. You're doing the same face as this. Ahead of the biggest climb of the day, we thought it'd be a good idea to stop and refuel. Unfortunately, it's going to get hot while we're here, but we're better off getting some food in our bellies. 7-Eleven next door, Chinese place here. So we're getting a bit of rice, should be good to go. It's amazing, can I talk frankly? Yeah. Pulling up, it doesn't look amazing, and it happens every time, and it's always amazing. So if you come to this country, just go for the worst looking place, it'll be beautiful. True story. I'm so impressed with you. That is, that's a great photo. Thank you. Oh, send it to him. I showed him it and if he wanted it, he would have said, can I have it? But he didn't. Lawrence just rolls around and every so often he goes. <laughs> and then, it, oh no, there might be a bit of a gap and he'll go, can I put the drone up, please? <laughs> he said about 10 words today. I've carried the drone for 400 kilometers and only used it once. Very frustrating. I did 3,000 miles across America with a drone. I used it once in Miami. <laughs> so, <laughs> when I started vlogging, I said to Francis, I'm gonna get a drone. And he went, don't, no one cares about drone footage. this giant climb I'll address some comments asking how has the tri-band been so far now Decathlon gave me this bike for this trip consider this section sponsored nothing interesting to report unfortunately <laughs> the bike's been spot on everything's been running smooth haven't even lubed my chain yet although we haven't ridden in the rain gear changes on the SRAM Apex one have been buttery smooth gear ratio has been okay I was a little bit apprehensive about having uh, one by fully loaded, but it's been absolutely fine. Brakes have been fantastic. These are TRP high roads. It's a hydraulic reservoir inside the caliper, but cable actuated. They've been so powerful. Haven't missed full hydraulics at all. 650Bs, again, completely fine. 
I've kept up with these guys. They haven't rolled slowly or anything like that. It has meant I've had to carry different spares to the other guys, which may be a negative and a selling point for switching these out to 700C wheels, which you get on the road version of this bike, the RC520. The only real big negative is something that I've changed on the bike, which is this physique saddle. I've never ridden a physique saddle, which I've liked. Maybe I'm being unfair. I need to try some more. At least I can switch it back out when I get home. All in all, bike has been great. Let's get to the top of this climb. First puncher of the trip. I've been waiting for this. because I've wanted to show the viewers the best thing ever in the world, ever. Keep your finger on that. Come on. See my bar end? See that? Yeah, we see it. Looks, looks weird, doesn't it? It does look weird. Why does it look weird? Because it's a tubeless thing oh. inside the bar end. Genius. Which also fits in SRAM cranks. Uh, I don't know what the, the company, it's called a Tapabucho. I don't know who, I can't remember which company make it, but if you Google Tapabucho thing, <laughs> tubeless thing, it will come up. <laughs> you stay there, Ben. Let me just get my tubeless plugs. <laughs> So you take your little tubeless plug thing, worm. There. Stab it in. Punch a fix. Tubeless is good sometimes, isn't it? Sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Kuala Lumpur. Seems very quiet. <laughs> Left somewhere. Okay, what's your journey? Amazing. 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 We love it. We love Malaysia. Wait, uh... We knew this day was coming. Ben's leaving us because he's got to go back to work. We're going to carry on riding to Singapore. It's going to take us a few days. Akmal is back to give him a safe ride back to the airport. This, this was the only way to get to the airport. See you again. Hey, thank time. you so much. All take right. care. Thank, thank you. you. See you later. Mate, see you later. Take care, mate. Safe flight, man. Catch you soon. And then there were two. We're gonna find a new friend now. Who are we gonna get? We need the third member. <laughs>